What is up everybody, it's CJ Plays here, and today I'm back with another Sims 3 speed build. Now, today I'm building a yellow house in The Sims 3. Now, the other day I was challenged by one of you, and I got a comment, and it was asking if I could build a house using only one color, and the color had to be yellow. Now, I was thinking about this for a while, and I was like, okay, I can definitely do that, but I promise y'all, I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> I feel like I have a headache after building this because like I said, everything had to be yellow. So if it was a surface, if it had like multiple colors, I had to make everything yellow. So you'll see a little bit in the video. It was a bit of a headache. Now this house is a three story house. I think it has like four bedrooms, two bathrooms. Like there's a lot of space in this house. And I am building this in Sunset Valley. If you were wondering, um, it's on one of the empty lots in the world. I can't think of it right now, but I will leave the name of it in the description. If you want to just place it down in sunset valley i used supernatural for the windows because i really like the supernatural windows and as y'all can see everything had to be yellow like the windows the doors um i had to change the, the like the little corners of the paneling because those were white and i was like no everything has to be yellow so you'll see a little bit in the video that i had to go back and change it like <laughs> y'all this house took me uh, a while to build actually like usually when i do speed builds the houses aren't really that big but i wanted to do something a little bit extra today kind of branch out a little bit go back to my like big house building roots because I used to build a lot of bigger houses back in the day so I was like you know what CJ let's go back to that <laughs> and as you can see right here I, this is when I changed my mind and I was like yeah CJ we probably need to recolor the little white parts of the paneling and, and actually you know make it yellow so moving on we're gonna go ahead and go to the inside of the house it took me not a, it didn't really take me that long this time to do the floor plan usually I cut floor plans out because I'm so indecisive and I don't know what I want to do and it was just like a mess and I was like mm, you you know let's just do what we do I, I did up I did end up extending the room right there with the three windows I did make it like one tile bigger because at first it was gonna be like a really small narrow room I wanted it to be like a sunroom but I ended up turning it into a home office so it has like a computer desk a bookshelf it also has a chess table and some really nice I think base game curtains I want to say and uh yeah so while I was building this house y'all I had to like swab a lot of items out I wanted this to look nice I didn't want this to look like too tacky which i mean let's be real here it's like all yellow so i mean i don't really know like i honestly don't expect anybody to want to download this and play in it but like if you do want to i mean feel free like you can always like download this and rearrange it if you want to and like you know change it and make it look a lot more tasteful like honestly i would be amazed if a lot of y'all did that and like just sit the house back and i can like look at them for a video on youtube that might actually be for the best <laughs> i can call it like cj's furnishing challenge or something but um yeah I'm getting off track though, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're into like the little like foyer entrance area and I was very, I w it took me like a really long time to do this room, which it doesn't look like it cause it's sped up, but it took me a while to actually find something that I liked. And, um, now we're moving on to like a little living room area. I wanted somewhere to just sit and watch TV. I feel like that's kind of like a staple for a lot of my houses just to have like a nice place to sit down and watch TV. I used a lot of fast lane chairs and like love seats in this build. Um, I really like the fast lane stuff pack. I know like I don't know, do y'all like that pack? Like, do y'all ever really use it? I tend to use the furniture more than I use the actual cars. Like, I don't think I've really ever used a lot of those cars before. <laughs> I'm more about the furniture and stuff. Like, those chairs and love seats are just so good. And um, I had to build a lot of this build at nighttime because it was just so bright in the game so i was like you know what let's turn the lights off and i even had to like tweak the colors of the wallpaper in the floor and stuff because it was just too bright so i had to like make it a little bit darker um moving on we have the doors i think i did i think i recolored the doors and the archways to be the exact same color and i also ended up putting a ladder in the parents bedroom upstairs so i'll talk about that one in a little bit but moving on we are in the kids room so i'd imagine it was like a mom dad maybe like a brother or sister or maybe like just two kids and the kids share a bathroom so they have like a little like it's like a jack and jill but it's like a little small bathroom it's not even like fully furnished it just has a shower tub combo no it just has like a shower tub combo and it has like a toilet and that's about it but this kids room was a lot of fun to make i kind of wanted to put a little bit more texture in here because everything was looking really just bland <laughs> so i did put like a little marble top on the dresser and i also chose some toys and stuff just kind of cluttered it up a bit of course everything is yellow but surprisingly there's a lot of different shades of yellow so you have like the lighter ones you have like the it's like light to where it's almost white and you have like dark where it's almost brown so i don't know y'all let me know like which y'all honestly play in this house like you don't 
like don't lie to me like you don't have to lie and be like oh cj this house is amazing no listen <laughs> i know this house is a hard i know it's hard to look at and i probably imagine like i said nobody's going to play in this like let's be real here like eh, it's too bright <laughs> but this was a fun challenge though and i mean should i do another house in a different color like i'm thinking blue or red or something like that yellow was fun i do like yellow as a color um so maybe we can do that again, like a different color or something. Leave some suggestions. Maybe I'll do one. But moving on, this is the like teens room. So I kind of wanted this to be like really nice. Have like a nice like mirror in here. I feel like the only objects in this house that kind of break up the yellow are like plants and mirrors and stuff. Stuff that I really couldn't recolor all the way. Um, but we have, I also put like a little desk in here for the teen. Maybe they're doing homework or something. They want to play video games. I also use that little like pyramid lamp. I think it came with World Adventures or maybe a store content. Um, I ended up using it because one, I don't think I've ever really used it. And two, it's yellow. So I was like, why not? <laughs> and then I also put like a nice little uh, nightstand here that's also yellow. And I put another lamp on it uh, just because, you know, you can never have too many lamps in your house. Okay. I also ended up changing out the window. Like I used like the really big one from... Uh, supernatural and i ended up using like one of the smaller ones in that room and i also put curtains up i don't know if it shows up in the video but i did put curtains up in the teens room moving on to the kitchen i used my bayside countertops those are like literally i think those are my favorite countertops in the whole entire game it's store content but it's really good <laughs> and i wanted everything to be yellow again i feel like i don't know if i tell you all this but like i had a headache after I finished building this, because I think I was just looking at too much yellow, <laughs> and it took me like a while to actually build this. Again, it's a three-story house, like, it took a while, um, but I ended up using the table from Pets. That is one of my most favorite tables in the game. It's just really basic, and I really like it, and I love the chairs and how well it matches with it, so we, so I went with like the yellow in here, and then I also put a trash compactor, because I forgot. I was like, we need a trash can, so I put a trash compactor. There's also a trash can outside the house, so you have both things if you need it. And um, that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Moving on, this is the little like home office -y space that I was talking about. Um, I use these really nice base game curtains that I don't I don't know. I've used them before, but I don't ever really get a chance to use them. And they were they worked really good like for the space so i kind of use those also chess tables y'all are so hard to work i feel like i can always get one chair to slot but i can never get the other one to slot so i always have to like turn move objects off move it around it's just a hassle but i think this turned out really good and i also was able to fit like an extra bathroom because i was thinking i was like wait there's only like one bathroom in this house so i gave uh everyone like a nice more formal one uh, i used the shower that's kind of like that's kind of like at an angle so your sim should be able to get inside even though it's like kind of close to the toilet you should be able to use it um i'm gonna have to play test this house honestly um and then i also put like a sink in here as well and i think the bathroom turned out really good so at least you have one full bathroom but then again you can if you download this you can like rearrange the house redo the floor plan if you want to literally make it your own um i'm curious to see what y'all want to do with this house like what kind of sim would you say would live in this a yellow house i guess like a sim that likes yellow right <laughs> but um this is the parents bedroom so at this point in the video or like when I was recording it, I kind of got tired of recoloring everything one by one. So I would place all the objects down and then I would just like pause the recording, recolor everything real quick because I was very indecisive. It takes a long time to pick the nice, like the right shade of yellow when you do a speed build like this. Like, listen, sometimes one yellow might be too bright. The other one might be a little bit too dark. You never really know. Um, I also turned this room over here into a workout room or like a home gym. Um, I was going to make another bedroom, but I was like, you know, what? if y'all want to make a bedroom, feel free to. I use a lot of items from a town life stuff and i also use like the base game treadmill and weight machine the there's also like the little um like, like the ballet like beam thing that you can like practice on so i also put that in here as well and as you can see we're up here at the third story so i ended up putting a ladder in the parents room and at least like a secret arcade i'd imagine like the dad has like a secret arcade that he doesn't he, like he thinks no one in the house really knows except for like his wife or whatever but like Everyone pretty much knows he has a secret arcade. He just kind of comes up here to like just chill and hang out and like he'll invite his friends over. They'll all come up here and chill. And like the kids know about it, but like they're not, they're not allowed up here, right? But like they always kind of sneak, you know, up here sometimes and play games. So I don't know. I like the idea of having like a really secret um like a gaming room i was gonna make this into like an attic and put like a bunch of random objects up here but i was like no cj we can do better than that let's make this into like a secret game room so i really like how this turned out and honestly like i would probably spend a lot of my time in here i mean i am a gamer in real life i have a literally a gaming youtube channel so i mean yeah i probably would be up here a lot i would probably record my videos up here <laughs> maybe not in the yellow room maybe like 
change the color around though. <laughs> um, but I did use those nice palm tree stencils from, I think they're like store content. If you have seasons, I want to say you can like get it off the Sims 3 store for free. So I use a lot of those stencils in here. And of course I am over here recoloring everything to match the yellow theme. But like I said, there's a lot of different shades of yellow. So hopefully it's, it looks okay to y'all. <laughs> Um, moving on, we have this bedroom over here. This is just a guest bedroom. I don't know, maybe like if a grandparent or something or you have a guest come over and spend the night, they can just stay in this room. Kind of generic. I just wanted like, to have like another bedroom up here just in case you wanted to use it for something. So... I feel free to change this. I also put a computer, not a computer. <laughs> I put a TV in the bedroom in case you wanted to use it for something. And then for this little extra space by here by the spiral staircase, I just made this into like another mini living room or like sitting area. So, um, you know, feel free to like change this as well. I just wanted something a little bit more formal. I use my base game love seats. Y'all know those are like some of my favorite chairs in the game. They're so practical and I like how square they are. So I ended up using them and I also used a rug in here as well. And uh, right now I'm just kind of fiddling around trying to find a nice lamp. I ended up using the fast lane lamp again. Um, and I think that shelf came with seasons, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, like the bookshelf. But anyway, I think this little area up here turned out nice. And um, I think we're pretty much done with the inside. This is like when I was trying to figure out how to get the rug, like what rug um, pattern I wanted to use. I was going to use the same one from downstairs, but it wasn't really like the vibe for me. So I used the stripe one that's like the normal one and I just kind of recolored it a bit. But we're pretty much done with the outside. And then this is just me uh, putting like a little fence in the front. I was going to do one in the back, but I was like, mm, let's just do one in the front. And then I also use some yellowish like landscaping. So like we don't like the yellow tree we have is not really the vibe. So I use this one from, I think, I think it's like university, I want to say, and I use a lot of yellow shrubs down here in the front. Um, and I think it turned out really, really nice. But that's pretty much it for this video, y'all. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below. Let me know, how do you think I did? Like, uh, on, a, on a scale of 1 to 10, what are we, what are we thinking? <laughs> but anyway, y'all, that's all that I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below. Follow me on Twitch while I stream a lot more of The Sims. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Also, stick around for screenshots because we have screenshots. So, bye. Thanks for watching.